Hi, I'm Mike Bowler, Associate Professor of Biology and Director of the Sustainability Program here at St. John Fisher College. For today's Insta Expert video, I've brought you out on the stormwater retention pond near my house. I'm here to talk to you about watersheds and how important they are. The Lake Ontario watershed collects water from eight states in the province of Ontario. The water collects runs through the lakes and rivers, eventually passing through Lake Ontario on its way out the St. Lawrence Seaway to the ocean. New York State defines 17 major watersheds within our boundaries. Several of these are part of the Great Lakes watershed. This pond and Tuvaglen Creek that runs in and out of it are part of the Lake Ontario Lesser Tributaries watershed. It includes the 6,000 or so smaller streams and rivers that lead into Lake Ontario, covering almost 2,500 square miles of land area. When I look at this water, it's beautiful, but at the same time, not a place that I'd want to go swimming. Water pollution has really caused this pond to become eutrophied. There's too many nutrients, there's too much algae, and it's just not the, the water that you would want it to be. Two-thirds of the state's 87,000 miles of streams and rivers have been assessed. 7% are categorized as impaired, with another 18% having minor impacts or threats. But there's plenty that you can do at home to help, and the h2ohero.org website is a really good resource. From car maintenance to make sure you're not leaking fluids into our storm drains, to think about lawn care and landscaping, and proper use of fertilizers and pesticides. Proper disposal of household chemicals and other wastes, septic system maintenance, and even thinking about how you're disposing of the water from your pools, fountains, and spas is all important. Even minimizing the amount of water coming from your gutters and downspouts can have a positive impact on our watershed. And of course, education is key. We are collaborating with the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Association's Great Lakes Bay Watershed Education and Training Program to train teachers and bring more opportunities to students. So if you're a teacher who wants to bring meaningful watershed educational experiences to your classroom, come to our website and apply to participate. I hope to see you out in the water enjoying our precious freshwater resources, but hopefully you can also become a steward like me. Thanks for watching.